Hi, I'm Mark from National, and I'm here with some of our SDI video products to talk about SMPD jitter specifications. The setup that I have here includes an LMH0340 serializer, which I'm using to generate a 3 gigabit per second color bar pattern, which is coming out through the yellow cable, going to 150 meters of cable, which is there to add jitter to the signal, and then the output of the cable is coming to a distribution amplifier, the output of which is being displayed on my oscilloscope screen. Now, SMPD has two different types of jitter that are specified. The timing jitter involves all the jitter in a frequency band from 10 hertz up through one-tenth of the clock rate, or 300 megahertz. If I have significant low-frequency jitter, I'll see it on the scope as these vertical transitions shifting left and right. And in this case, I don't have very much timing jitter. If I did have timing jitter, the solution would be to look at my clock generation system and possibly regenerate the clock through a crystal oscillator and possibly a product like the LMH 1982. The other type of jitter that's specified is the, time, is the alignment jitter. Alignment jitter involves all jitter from 100 kilohertz up through 300 megahertz, and it's seen on the scope in the width of the vertical transitions. I do have some alignment jitter in this signal, which I can see because of the wide vertical transitions, and I can improve that by changing my DA from a non-reclocking to a reclocking DA. And I do that by enabling the LMH0346, which is on the board. And when I do that, you can see that the vertical transitions have now become much finer, and I have a much lower jitter signal. Thanks for watching. For more about SDI products, visit national.com/sdi.